What's up guys? It's Friday and so you know what time it is. It is time for What The Fitness. I need a new intro. Leave a comment for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, like the video. See what I did? I reversed it there. Let's get into it. This week we have a video from Dr. Patrick Flynn, the title of which says women should not have six packs. I have not watched this video, so maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. Let's find out. Women should not fast. Women should not exercise the way men do. Women should not actually have six packs like men can. It's, it's, it's virtually impossible for them to do it and have healthy. I put a challenge out there on Instagram. Any lady that fasts and tells me they're healthy, I would love them to jump on this show and like to get blood work done first. I'd like to get blood work and Dutch test done and I'll show you it's not. If a woman has a six pack, if you're an over crossfitter and you actually are on Instagram showing yourself in your shorty shorts and your six pack, I, I will personally pay for your labs to get done to show you that you're, uh, you may be fit, but you're not healthy. How, how are you objectively? Oh, he's a chiropractor. Okay, that makes sense. So first off, there are women who have six packs who are not healthy. That, that is true. There are women who have six packs who are not healthy. Now, that being said, it depends on what your objective measurements of health are. I have worked with women who have had six packs who have been very lean and all their blood markers are actually quite good in terms of blood glucose, insulin sensitivity, their metabolic profile, their visceral fat. I had one competitor who had a liver scan done and had almost no visceral fat whatsoever, which is a really great marker of metabolic health. Their cardiovascular disease markers are good. So if we're defining health by that, uh, there's quite a few women who have six packs who are very, very healthy. If we're defining it by amenorrhea, whether or not they lose their period, their sex hormones, some of those things may be off, but it depends on the individual. I've had women who have gotten very, very lean, who have still maintained their period, who have still had good sex hormone profiles. I've also had women who have just lost a little bit of weight, not gotten crazy lean or a shredded six pack and have lost their period and have all kinds of sex hormone problems. So it really depends on the individual. Some women are able to get to a very, very lean state and maintain that and not really have many problems health wise. Now the other aspect of this is some women, the leaner they get, the more food focused they get, and this goes for men too, and they are at higher risk of developing an eating disorder just based on their obsession with food as they get really lean, and that's another aspect of health. Now one of the things I really don't like about this video is he keeps saying health, 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 health. If a term means anything, then it means nothing. We call this a nebulous term. He is throwing out the word health and he is not backing it up with any objective markers. And in fact, he says a Dutch test, which to my knowledge is not really viewed as an evidence-based test. Maybe I'm wrong, I'm not an expert on that kind of stuff, but my understanding from other experts is it's not really considered evidence-based. Regardless, just saying the word healthy and women should not have six packs, making broad sweeping generalizations is typically a bad idea. And I don't think this guy has the wherewithal or qualifications to actually evaluate this well especially as a doctor of chiropractic medicine. You're not an internal medicine specialist. You're not somebody who has extensive knowledge of metabolism, and you're not even providing objective measurements of the very thing you're claiming you want to assess. So if he said, I want to see their blood lipid panel, their insulin sensitivity, X, Y, Z, their sex hormones, fine. Let's look at those and see. But I bet if you look at almost anyone's bloods, you can find something that's out of the normal range. And you can say, aha, see, they're not healthy. We have to look at the overall body of evidence and we have to look at also mental health because that's another aspect of health. So again, if you cannot objectively define it and you cannot measure it, then it's what's called a nebulous term and it means nothing. So again, when somebody says something like health, healthy, and doesn't objectively define it, I immediately tune out and just assume that they're not very smart. It wasn't the worst video I've ever seen, and there is some partial truth to it in that some women who do get lean do have problems, but saying no woman should have a six pack or any woman that has a six pack is unhealthy is complete nonsense. Also, this idea that women need to train differently than men is not really supported by the research literature. We find that women have similar adaptations to either endurance exercise or resistance training as men, there is some evidence that women may recover a little bit faster from exercise than men do, but part of that could just be that women aren't as strong 
can't use as much weight during resistance training and don't create the same sort of fatigue that men create just based off the overall amount of weight that they're using. But we don't know that yet. We need more research to determine that. So overall, based on this video, not super impressed, not someone I would consider evidence-based and would unfollow. Please don't share, please don't like, please don't subscribe. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my videos and I'll catch you next week.